Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today, we are going to see a case of Peroni disease. A 43 years old male patient came with painful erection and abnormal penile curvature. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the transverse section of the penis. These are the corpora cavernosa, this is corpus spongiosum. You can see a hyperechoic calcified area casting posteroacoustic shadow within the tunica albuginea between two corpora cavernosa. This is a calcified plaque within the tunica albuginea which suggests a case of peroni disease. Here is another view and you can see this fragmented calcified plaques within the tunica albuginea between two corpora cavernosa. You can see the cavernosal arteries in cross section here also. This is the longitudinal section between two corpora cavernosa and you can see this is the tunica albuginea layer which shows some calcified plaques. These are the fragmented calcific foci within the tunica albuginea. There is no associated vascular wall involvement. So these calcified plaques will cause painful erection as well as unusual curvature or bending of the penile shaft during erection. Here is the picture, you can see these calcified plaques within the tunica albuginea between two corpora cavernosa. Another picture with markings and you can see these calcified plaques here, casting faint postacoustic shadows. This is the longitudinal section, you can see a normal corpora cavernosum. This is the cavernosal artery and on the right image you can see the calcific foci within the tunica albuginea casting faint acoustic shadow. Another picture with segmental calcified plaques suggesting peroni disease. Another one you can see this tunica albuginea with calcified plaques within. So in summary, ecogenic calcified plaques are noted within the tunica albuginea between two corpora cavernosa casting acoustic shadows without any vascular involvement, suggesting it as a case of peroni disease. Now the take home message. In case of peroni disease, don't forget to check the neurovascular involvement of the calcified plaques. This may be important when the clinician wants to go for the management of this case. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.